Hello to you. This is going to be a scripted tutorial, and since it's my first one, it's going to be on variables, like everyone else does. Anyway, first thing you're going to do is make a new project. We're going to call it scripting. Because why the hell not? And, uh, yeah. Let's just make land. Goody. Okay. So, first of all, variables and scripting is very similar to what you normally get with control variables or in-game variables so we'll just call this in-game variable All right and if you want to do anything to it constant call it 3 see equals 3 now if I wanted to do anything else to it like maybe add to it add 5 plus equals 5 that's important Maybe I want to uh, multiply it now by 7. See? And uh, that's very much what you would do in scripting because it's very similar. See? All that. Great. So let's get into it. We'll come down here. I'll do a new script. And uh, we'll just right click and insert a couple. Make it look nicer. And uh, we'll just call this one tutorial one. Okay. So this is a local variable. A local variable can be whatever you want it to be. So you can make it equal a string, a boolean, a float, or an integer. And I'll explain what they are in the next tutorial. So for now, I can't really explain what the difference between local and instance is because we haven't gone into class methods and uh, definitions but that's okay so at the moment you have these kinds of variable types right so you've got global variables constant variables instant variables and local variables I will explain what these two do in a different tutorial, but for the moment, a constant variable is something that can never be changed. Once you assign a constant to 47, it stays 47. It never changes. A global variable is something that can be accessed anywhere. So since I made global variable here, if I go to any old random old script and I just go global, whoops, all right global equals 51 it will come all back the way down here and it will change this to 51 so that's what global can do and I have no idea which script that was anyway uh... yeah so we'll just get rid of them for now we can use local for at the moment so let's do some things with this We've made it 80 so far, so we can also use those same types of operators we saw earlier in the uh, control variables. So we can make it plus equals 47 if we want to. Just put space there. Yep. Cool. And now we can go message box underscore p local. And what this will do is, as soon as you start the game, this will print out a message box with whatever number local should be. So, if I'm correct, that should be 127. Yes, it is. Good. Cool. So, we can also do different things to it, like local minus equals 100. Alright? And if you were paying attention, minus equals will just minus whatever it already is. So, basically, what we're doing at the moment is local equals 80. Now, since we're going plus equals, that means since local is already 80, 80 plus 47. And since that's 127 now, 127 minus 100 is 27. That's pretty much what these operators are doing. But you don't have to do it that way. You can go local equals local divide minus, oh, actually we can go divide 50. Or divide by 2. Makes it easier. 
Alright, and that's the exact same as doing that, only it's with an equal sign. So this would be 27 minus 100, that'd be 27. 27, yep, local equals 27 divided by 2, which would be something like 14 or 13.5. Cool. Alright, let's try it out. 13. Now, if you have any math skills, that is not correct because it's actually 13.5. And that's one of the main differences between integers and floats. But have no worries about that. I'll get into that in the next tutorial. Now, with that in mind, I'm just curious to know, why do you want to script? Please leave me a comment telling me why. Thanks.